First question is from Noah K35. What are the best exercises to build abs out? I've tried hanging leg raises, but I can't get my abs to stick out more. Okay, so building the the muscles of the abs get them bricks is is the same as you would uh, approach building any muscle in your body. So the best rep ranges to build muscle uh, for all muscles is between one heavy rep all the way up to maybe 20 repetitions. Those are all good muscle building ranges. Now with the abs, I would say you probably wouldn't do very well with really, really low reps because it's so hard to have perfect form. But lower reps are okay. I'm not. I'm, I'm talking about like you don't want to do like a single, like one or two reps. But you can do five, six heavy resistance reps uh, with your abs, abs, and of course you can get up to 20. The key is to use good resistance and here's the other key. Train your abs in a full range of motion. Most people don't do this. They mm-hmm. work their abs, but the abs tend to be stabilizers or tend to be kind of play second fiddle. So using the example of the hanging leg raises, I have yet to see, I've probably seen in my entire career working in gyms, five people do a hanging leg raise properly. Yeah. Most people just bend, they, they, they bend at the hips, the legs come up or the knees come up, and the abs are stabilizing but the, the muscles that are doing the movement, full range, are the hip flexors. The ab function is to bring the pelvis closer to the rib cage or the rib cage closer to the pelvis. So it's literally curling your low back or curling your hips up. So when you do a leg raise, it's not just lifting the legs. It's yeah. curl. It's it's tip. It's it's curling the the hips. I hate it's having this. The I hate having this conversation on the podcast. Mm, the I know. abs are visual. no. It is the abs are one of the hardest things to try and uh, articulate on this show. Like mm-hmm. it's it's something that visually I have to have something to be able to show a client or actually move their body to get them to understand because it's arguably the probably one of the I don't know most uh, most commonly done wrong exercise. Yeah, miss uh, uh, practiced. Right, just because even when you have poor form, you look like you're kind of doing it right, and you feel it. Yeah, you and still ex- feel exactly, it. and you still feel it because yeah. the abs are still they're working in in that. When if you do a, a a hip flexor sit up, right, you use mostly your hip flexors. Abs still work. Mm-hmm. They're still in. They're at least stabilizing at the bare minimum. Maybe you get a little bit of a contraction in it, and the and you look like you're doing it right. Mm-hmm. So it's really hard to try and explain to somebody on a podcast like how to do this well. But you know, in my experience, when you have somebody who wants to build their abs, uh, one of the best things to do is that low heavy rep range because mostly because nobody does it. The the novelty of it is the main reason why I think it's the best. But the drawback is that most people already don't know how to connect to the abs very well and do a basic sit-up with using all of their abs, much less, okay, now I'm going to recommend to these people they should go do yeah, heavy Yeah, that's five. why we caution, like, just all of a sudden going to loading it and doing, like, a, a lower rep range if you haven't actually done the work of getting uh, that kind of activation out of your abs. I'm trying to think, like, I think the, the only one I can think of that probably, like, for me has always made the most sense to load is, like, a decline sit-up. Yeah. Well, 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 here's the thing. Load is all relative. You take somebody who doesn't know how to really work their abs properly – you have them do a physio ball crunch, yeah. and they're doing low reps or a perfect spit up, yeah, a spit sit- up, sit up, <laughs> <laughs> a perfect sit up. <laughs> You're a da- dad mode. Yeah, yes, yes. yeah. <laughs> like, that was the dad. Like, like, Jesse's bragging Good about job. his son. He's like, hey guys, look, I know kids spit <laughs> up. My kid does <laughs> the perfect spit up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no, it's uh, uh, it, it is low reps because they they don't have the strength to do right. more than six or seven. I have yet to have a new person get put on a physio ball. Have them do a proper crunch the right way. With full extension, full oh, contraction. Oh, try, try, yeah. try this. And here's the best visual I think I could give that most people hopefully can understand is you know lie completely straight out, flat on your back, and try and sit your your body at your torso up. But as you're trying to think of your spine and the vertebrae and how they look, right? Have everyone seen the skeleton before? Think of the vertebrae, and you're trying to roll up each individual vertebrae yeah. slow and controlled. Imagine try, you're a piece of paper. Do they call up. it the perfect Dude, setup? Yeah, perfect yeah. setup. Try doing five of those. Yeah. yeah. Try the, and that's try so, doing one. Right. That <laughs> extreme you're right. You're not even gonna be able to probably do one perfect. So that's a great way of that would be technically low rep heavy loading because you can't even probably Dude. do one or two of those really well. And a way to assist yourself is you take a rubber band 
around like a uh, you know you like can the put squat, around your feet even yeah squat rack or yeah even your feet right mm -hmm. and then you use the rubber band to help assist you in that perfect articulation of the spine rolling up man work on that really well and and low reps slow and control and then slowly that's a great video i don't think we've done that we no. did we yeah, did we, we, with we actually, the rubber band assistant i, no, I don't know if i don't I've think done, so i don't know if i've done one with the rubber band assistant, but i know we've done we them. have a lot of ab videos we do. Uh, on the youtube channel so we'll, we'll make sure to to attach some of them in the show notes that that demonstrate kind of what we're talking about i went through this i remember i mean i've been working out for years until i figured this out and i, rem I remember i got real lean I was supposed to go on a vacation somewhere. I got really lean and I got my body fat down to like nine or eight percent. And you could see my abs when I'd flex them. So you could see, like, oh, he's got, you know, flat midsection. He's got nice abs. But when I didn't flex them, they weren't visible. And I was always jealous of the guys that had the abs that just always showed. They didn't have to flex, their abs just stuck out. So I thought, God, do I have to get that much leaner? Do I have to get that much more shredded? And I was reading some, you know, muscle magazines, or I think I was reading a, a, an old bodybuilding book. And in there, they were talking about building the abs so that they sh they showed more at higher body fat percentages. And I thought, well, that makes perfect sense because I know when I develop my quads or my chest or my back, I don't have to necessarily get leaner. It's more visible because there's more muscle. So I right. thought I'm going to try to build my abs. And so that's exactly what I did. And I always thought I didn't have a great midsection. I always thought that's just one of my weaknesses. So I started training this way. I started to slow my reps down. I focused on all on lumbar extension and flexion. Well, so isn't this is isn't this what inspired you to write uh, the, the no, no BS, BS, BS six pack? Right. Yep. Absolutely. And I did it, and within six months, no joke, I went from from the guy who had abs that weren't really visible to they built out so much. If I wore a tight T-shirt, you could see them through my T-shirt, and it was all because I built. I actually started getting pumps on my abs. I would work them out. And feel a pump in them like with like you do with your biceps. They're muscles just like any other muscle in your body. You have to train them in a similar way. That does that means you're not doing a hundred reps. You're not just going real fast, jerky motion. You're not doing weird light movements. You are using resistance. That may mean that you're not using uh, external resistance. But what I mean by that is pick hard exercises, do them slow, full extension. Full squeeze and contraction. Get the rib cage close to the pelvis. Squeeze that, then extend back. Think of it this way. It's like uh, when you're standing straight up, can you take your pelvis and tuck it and stick your butt out? So every time you tuck your tailbone, that's your abs contracting. Every time you stick your butt out, that's your abs lengthening. That's what the abs do. The abs don't bring the legs up uh, to your chest.